Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. Today is of course my July project pan update and I'm very excited to be filming it. I am filming it a little bit late. I was out of town for the beginning of the month, like a whole week at the beginning of the month. I was going to a family wedding and it was very fun, a very good trip, but I am filming it this a little bit late, but I do have some good updates. Very quickly before I jump into this video, I do have an exciting announcement. I will be moving. Well, my boyfriend and I will be moving. And this is of course the first time I'm moving in two years, which doesn't seem like a very long amount of time, but for me who moved every single year prior to this place, it was really nice to stay in a place for longer than one year. I am very excited about the move. It will be a really good move for us in general, though I do really love this place and I'm gonna miss it a lot. Why I'm telling you all this is because, of course, there is a reason for my delay in uploads. I feel like I have not been very consistent in uploading and it's because of that, because I am trying to pack everything. It was kind of, um. I wouldn't say sudden, but it was something where we thought we were going to stay here another year and then decided kind of last minute that we were going to move instead. We found a really good place that we loved and we were like, all right, let's do it. So because of that, I did not prep for months and months to move like I have in previous years. I'm kind of doing this flying by the seat of my pants. So I'm trying to film everything and get everything uploaded and edit everything. It's just, I'm extremely busy with the move. We have less than a month now to move everything and get everything packed up and ready. So obviously there will be a transition leaving this space and then also there will be a transition moving into the new place. And when we do, I can't wait to show you guys kind of the new space and the new filming locale and everything like that. I will say one of the things I'm really excited about in the new space is that it has amazing light and amazing windows. So it might be a lot easier for me to film in places other than the kitchen because in this place the only really good place to film is the kitchen um, it's the only place with consistent good natural light all right all that being said we can jump into the products now and very quickly i just want to thank you guys for your patience with me and for everyone new that subscribed even while i haven't been posting very consistently you guys are the best thank you so much for continuing to support me and comment and love on my videos even when i'm not being super consistent i promise you i'm thinking about you and my channel and everything it's just sometimes life gets in the way if you're new to my channel and you don't know i do also have another full-time job and i work another job coaching a college athletic team so i am busy i do have my hands full i also have three pets i have hobbies i have friends things like that and i film for this channel so sometimes i don't know how i do it all and then it's times like this where i'm like oh right i'm not doing it all i'm prioritizing different things and sometimes this falls to the wayside but i promise you i'm still here I want to say it's been a while since I filmed, like it feels like it's been a while, but it really hasn't. I filmed right before I left for the trip and I filmed while I was on the trip. So yeah, I, I've been consistently filming. It's just been a while since I've uploaded. <laughs> okay, now that's been more than enough chatting, more than enough. So into the products. Okay, of course, first off, I have my LOC Tati shadow stick. It is actually getting to the point where I feel like the lid is like larger i mean it is larger than the product i used this 28 times in june and i feel like it's good i feel like it's definitely coming down to the times where i'm struggling to sharpen it um and it is getting smaller and smaller and smaller i do think i only have like a month or two left in this i don't think maybe i'll finish it in july but i'm guessing probably august or september so that is extremely exciting for me Next up, I have my Soft Lip Sugar Plum Lip Balm, and I actually completely <laughs> finished this. Um, it came out because this is just a little, like, plastic holder thing. Um, I used this 18 times in June, and there's absolutely nothing I could get out of this except for, like, digging the product out of that little, like, plastic thing, and I find it very gross to do that. I just don't want to do that. Um, I kind of used it to the point where it's like below being flat and there's nothing more I could really get out of it. And I'm good with that. I'm good with saying that that's finished, completely used up. I'm very happy with this. It was in a lot longer than I expected it to be. Um, and I kind of thought it'd be done by winter and it's obviously July, so half the year. But I am really happy to have this completely used up and start to get through some of my lip balms because that's still a goal of mine. 
One thing that's very cool about moving is that it helps you declutter a lot of your stuff. And I feel like I've been posting a lot about declutters lately and that was prior to our decision to move. So I feel like even more good declutters coming. Okay, next up is my Kose lip liner. And I feel like it actually is markedly shorter than it was before. I also used this 28 times in June and I've been really enjoying it. I have it on today, I wear it basically every single day. And sometimes I just use it in the center of my bottom lip and in the center of my cupid's bow. And that works for me. It's kind of what I did today. It's a lighter way of using it every single day, but I am really enjoying this and I feel like it'll get used up by the end of the year. I just don't know. I mean, I have a good amount of product left in it, right? Like it's not gonna happen this month or the next or maybe the month after that, but I am hopeful that this will be done by December. I feel like I'm just like all over the place today. A lot of little anecdotes. Sorry, I guess I'm just excited to film and talk to you guys. Next up is my Cody Airspun, and yeah, I also use this 28 times. I feel like it's it's got a good amount of product still in there, of course, but it's definitely getting down there. Um, I think what'll be really fun about this product, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that at all. It's like to there. Um, what will be fun about this product basically is seeing how much I get used up in this year. And then after this year seeing like, okay, so I used up this many, this much of it, like got to a third of it or weight wise got to, uh, you know, a fifth of it or whatever it is. And then basically being able to calculate how many years it's going to take me to get through this thing. Cause it's going to be years. So, I mean, I love this powder. Don't get me wrong. I'm very happy. I think it's a really good brightening powder, especially under the eyes. So I'm very happy with it. It's just funny because there's never gonna be like a lot of movement on this one. Next up is my Mud Masky Blush Drops. And I actually, for some reason, thought that I could use these up in June. I don't know why. I still have a good amount of products left in them. I used them 26 times in June and I'm wearing them today. I wear them most days. I'm trying to show you guys how flat it is. It is a lot flatter, but I feel like there's a lot of product still in here, if that makes sense. Like all the product down here, there's still a lot and there's some up here too. I, of course, ended up really loving these. I do love these. I just get really used to the products that I use and that I wear every single day. And I feel like now I really, really love the look of it. It's just like a nice light pinky look, especially if I'm wearing pink like today, I end up really, really enjoying it. But in general, I'm just really, really used to how it looked. So I, I like it. I can get used to almost anything. I do think that I'll have this finished up, if not by the end of July, by the end of August. I do just think it is getting down there in general, but hesitant to say that I'll have it finished up in July with how little of it I have to use most days and just in general how much product I believe is left in here. Next up is my Balm Bronzer. This is what it's looking like. I feel like in general it's the pan isn't much bigger, but it is a lot flatter in the center, I feel like. So I'm getting there. It's definitely not close to being used up at all. I think I have a lot of product left in this, and I don't even know if I'm really going to be able to finish this up by the end of the year, but I'm hopeful. I feel like this still works for me, even though it's summertime and usually I go for a little bit of a darker bronzer. I feel like this still just has a really good undertone, and I'm wearing it today, and I don't think it looks like off or bad or weird or anything like that. And I use this 28 times in June. I wear it every single day. Even if I wear a cream bronzer or a cream contour, I always put this on top of it. So yeah, I really like this product. Really good bronzer. Very happy just having one powder bronzer, to be quite honest. I'll probably keep that trend going for the future. I only really need one if it's a good one that I like. So yeah. All right, next up is my Monsieur Big Mascara, and I actually ended up using this up in June. So I used it 28 times. I used it every single day in June, and I was scraping, scraping by at the end of the month. Like, I probably could have finished it a couple days early, but I was just like, I'll just keep using it through the end of the month. It is extremely dry. It's getting to the point where it's flaky. It's not really, it wasn't really, like, staying on my lashes super well, and yeah, it is just used up. It's just past its prime. So I'm very happy to have this one completely used up. I definitely thought it was going to be in for a little bit longer, but I'm very happy with it. Um, and I obviously love this mascara, but now it's not going to be as confusing because I can start using the other Monsieur Big Mascara I have and I don't have to differentiate like, okay, this is the open one. This is the non-open one. Now there's just going to be one and it's going to be open. So I'm very happy about that. And I'm very glad to have used this up in June. Next up is my e.l.f. 
poreless putty primer and I used this 20 times in June as well. I truly thought that I was going to have this used up in June and I feel like it's actually very close. I am kind of certain, knock on wood, that I will have this used up in July. It's just getting down to the very bottom of it. Um, I just got back from traveling so it was laying on its side which is why it looks like there's a lot of product in here but I promise you there's about Mm, that much product in here and I use this all over my face so I really think I'm gonna end up using this up in July which will be good roll in some other products as well in general this is a good primer but I feel like there could be better I feel like there's others that I want to try others that I want to use so yeah um, but it's not used up yet so look forward to this being used up in my August update but for right now I'm just happy with how much I got used up in June all right, next up is my e.l.f. Cantaloupe bite-sized blush, and I'll show you what it's looking like. I have not hit pan on it yet, but I do feel like the pan is a lot bigger of a dip in it. You can kind of see it there. I don't know how deep these pans go, which is kind of the hard part, obviously, when you're panning things. I used this 26 times in June, and like I said last month's update, I kind of thought that this would be in for like maybe a month or two, so it's been in much, much longer than I thought it would be. I do think this is kind of the perfect time of year to have it in. I don't mind having it in. I am happy to get more usage on this blush, especially because this was a blush that I really believed was like not as wearable as it has been for me. Um, I'm wearing it today, layered over a cream, a pink cream blush, and I really like the look of it. I've been really liking it in general. It's easy to layer. It's obviously a very specific look, but I feel like for the color that my hair is right now, the colors that I'm wearing and how I'm doing my makeup lately, it ends up just working really well, even if I'm only using a little bit of it. So I'm very, very happy with how much of this I've used up. I don't know when I'm gonna hit pan on it. To me, it seems like there is so much more to go until I hit pan, but I feel like that's always how deceiving these pans are. You never know how deep they actually go. So we'll see how quickly I can actually end up hitting pan on this. Hopefully in July, I'd love to be able to roll in another blush to hit pan on, but until then, I am enjoying using it. My cat came in, just like sat on my notes, sat on my products, get down. This is Rocky for everyone. He looks so mad. I promise you he's purring. He's a very happy boy. He just has RBF um, and he loves being held like this, right? Yeah, he's still purring. <laughs> All right, put him down. All right, and then the last product from my June 10 is my Bliss Blockstar sunscreen. I definitely feel like I got a lot of it used in June, like a lot more than I thought I would. I used this 27 times in June and I might be able to finish this in July. I feel like I only have about this much left of it. And again, this is something I'm putting all over my face, um, especially because it's summer. Even if I'm working in the office, I put this on my face every single day and it's good to wear sunscreen and I do just like it. It has a little bit of coverage like I've talked about before. So it is really nice, especially right now when I'm not wearing any foundation. I just haven't been in a foundation mood for a while. So we'll see if I can get this used up in July. I do have another sunscreen that I'd love to get used up. Um, but in general, I am really happy with this one. And again, this is another product that I kind of saw as unwearable because of the tint to it, but it's great in the summer. So yeah. Okay, with that, those are all my products from my June 10. And I used up two products, so I'm getting to roll in two. I'm very happy using up two products. That is much better than my one product kind of streak that was going on, my little one product curse every single month. So I'm very happy to be rolling in two products. I'm keeping it very traditional with these two. I'm basically replacing the products that I have with similar products, which you will see in a second. So the first product I'm rolling in is a Key Lime Lip Scrub from 4th Ray Beauty, which is ColourPop. And it is a lip balm, even though this is a lip scrub, it's not scrubby at all. I don't know why they call this a scrub. Like, I don't know if you can see here, it's like really not a scrub. It is completely smooth. I'll even like swatch it out. That is shiny, that is a lip balm. <laughs> I don't know why they call this a lip scrub. I think maybe it was scrubby at the very beginning, but I truly don't remember. I got this last year because I wanted a lip scrub and it is in the lip scrub, but I'm okay with that. It does feel a little bit like 
exfoliating, not like physically exfoliating, but almost like chemically exfoliating. Let, let me know if that doesn't make sense, but I feel like it is a little bit like exfoliating to the lips to use. I really like this. I really want to use it up because I really enjoy it. And last year when I got it, I was using it almost every single day. And then when I started using other lip balms to use them up in my project pans, I obviously stopped using it, but it doesn't have that much product in it. This is it. So I feel like I will be able to finish it um, within a couple months, which is always a good sign for me personally. And I also just think lime is the perfect summer fragrance. Um, I love the packaging. This is one of my favorite colors. I love a good lime green. And yeah, I just thought it would be really good. I like to roll in products that I actually enjoy and I like to use. So we'll see how much I can get used up of this in July and see how quickly I'll be able to use it up. All right. And then the last product that I'm rolling in is of course another mascara because I used up my Monsieur Big. This is from Milani and this is the highly rated lash extensions tubing mascara. If you know anything about me, if you've watched my channel for any length of time, you'll know I love tubing mascaras. I use one every single day on top of my lashes. I usually use two mascaras, if not three, there was a time I was using three, which is kind of crazy. Um, I think one was a primer, but in general, I love tubing mascaras. I have watery eyes, I have like smaller eyes, and I have hooded eyes, and everything just means that it's gonna smudge everywhere if I don't use a tubing mascara. And I have been, a personal side goal of mine has been to use and try to use as many different types of tubing mascara possible. I wanna try all the different brands and find the best of the best. This, I don't know if it's the best of the best, but it is a great drugstore tubing mascara. It is really good. I am really enjoying it. I do have to let this dry a little bit longer than most tubing mascaras. Otherwise it will kind of transfer, but once it dries, it stays. It's good. It hasn't smudged on me at all. I do love the packaging. This is beautiful packaging. I love the color and it was pretty inexpensive. Um, and so in my journey to try a bunch of different tubing mascaras, that means that I want to try different tubing mascaras. And so because of that, I want to get this used up so I can try another one and then after that another one and then eventually probably make a little video about all the tubing mascaras that I've tried and my thoughts on them and what I think are the best for the price given. But that obviously is gonna be a while from now. I could just buy 20 different tubing mascaras all at once and try them all and then give you my thoughts, but I don't want 20 open tubing mascaras to use up or to go bad before I can use them up. So I'm doing it the long way. I'm doing it the less beauty YouTuber way of just trying one at a time, but I am, that means trying every single tubing mascara from start to finish. So you'll know my full thoughts on each and every one when, once I film that video, probably mm, a year from now. So all that being said, I do really want to use this up so I can try different things. And it is the only tubing mascara I, I have right now. Well, that's not true. I have the blink brown tubing mascara, but I love to have a black tubing mascara. So it's the only black one I have. And so with that, I'm going to be using this one up as well. And hopefully it'll be used up like most mascaras within a few months of daily use. So yes. Okay. All that and more being said, I feel like I have explained and over explained enough in this video. If you like this video, please like it. And if you like me, please subscribe, see my next month's update, which will be filmed in a much more timely manner. Well, maybe not because I'll be moving, but hopefully it will, right? Fingers crossed, okay? But in general, I hope you're having a great day, week, month, year, wherever you are. I'm very happy with how much I've gotten used up this past month. Looking forward to what I'll use up this next month. And with that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, friends.